What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited because we are going to be doing a full face of a drugstore makeup that's better than high end. I've done a lot of these types of videos in short form content, so like TikTok, Reels, YouTube Shorts, where I quickly show you the drugstore products that I think are better than high end, but I don't think I've ever done like a long form sit down, actually use the products, show you why I think these drugstore products are better than high end. So that's what I wanted to do today. Really get down into the nitty gritty and show you guys why all these products are amazing and why I love them. Because y'all know I love drugstore beauty and definitely think that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really beautiful makeup look. So we're just going to go through some of my favorites. A lot of these products you guys can probably guess if you've watched my other videos, but I'm really excited. I'm in a little makeshift filming area today and we're filming on my vlog camera, but I think we'll be able to make everything work. So that's why my background and everything looks different. So bear with me with that, but make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button. We are so close to a million subscribers which like blows my actual mind um when i started this for fun in my dorm room i would have never thought that, that would have been a thing ever um i still remember when i got my first subscriber like i remember where i was because back then youtube would send you like an email for every new subscriber that you got and i remember getting the email anyways we're not gonna get into that now uh but yeah subscribe if you haven't already and without further ado let's go ahead and get started Alrighty, up first we have my tried and true and dare i say one of my favorite drugstore products of all time, I'll say one of, but honestly probably my favorite drugstore product of all time, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I love this stuff. I have it in shade four. I use either four or three. And why I like this is you can use this so many different ways. It can be used like we're using it right now as more of like a primer. It can be used completely on its own just as an all over glow product. You know what? I don't have a mirror because I'm just like, wait, I'm applying this makeup and I can't even see what I'm doing. All right, I can see a little bit better now, but basically you can use this as an all over product. So your only complexion product because it does give a pretty good coverage on its own. You can mix it into foundation to give it a little bit of a glow or you can use it before your foundation like I'm doing to give a tint and a glow to the skin. It's so pretty. I actually probably wear this most frequently just completely on its own, especially on days when I'm just not really doing a bunch of makeup. I just want a nice glow and tint to my skin. This is definitely my go-to product for that. But on days when I'm doing a more full glam look like today, it definitely can be used as like your first kind of base layer. And I just love it. And to be honest, this came out, I believe as, you know, supposed to be like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and honestly, I like this one better. So that's the tea on that. All right, for foundation, we are going with an oldie, but a goodie. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Now, this has been out for like a million years. I had it way back when, like when I first started my YouTube channel, probably even before I had YouTube, this was like one of my go-to drugstore foundations. Didn't used to have a pump though, they just recently relaunched it and they added a pump, which is amazing because I feel like for so many years, I didn't reach for it as often because like every foundation had a pump and I was kind of just like, ah, because it used to be one of those bottles and it was messy and I was just like, ah, you know, there was other foundations that I was using. But now that they've added a pump on this puppy, I mean, Really the name True Match is so adequate because it blends into the skin so flawlessly and I'm just like, dang, this really is a good product. It gives like a more medium coverage, so it's not gonna go super full coverage, but I feel like it just perfects the skin so much. Like you can see side to side, my skin doesn't look all that much different with it on, just a bit more like blurred and perfected. So I love this stuff and thank you to them for giving us a pump finally, because now I'm like, dang, this is really good. And I've been using it so often and think it worked amazingly. Okay, up next for concealer, we have a new favorite and I feel like a broken record. I've talked about this in so many videos, but this is the IRL filter finish soft matte concealer from Makeup Revolution. I had the lowest of hopes going into this concealer because everybody really liked the foundation of this and I did not. It was drying, it was creasy, did not look good on me or wear well on me. The concealer couldn't be any more different in my opinion. It blends really nicely, gives a good, I would say medium coverage. You can build it up to be a little bit more full coverage if you want to, but I personally think for my under eyes, the medium works well. It wears really nicely. It's not drying. It does have a soft matte finish, so it's not like a glowy or dewy finish or anything, but it doesn't feel drying on your skin. So I really, really like it and have been enjoying it a lot. So, wow, I just saw the self tan on my hands. <gasps> that looks really bad. Please excuse that. I'm sorry. I wash my hands like a crazy person and it just wears off so much faster and I really should like redo it, but I didn't do it before this video. So sorry about that. The rest of my body though, all matches. It's just the hands. Anyways, this concealer is really, really good. I really like it. Up next for liquid contour, I've really been liking the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Little Contour Sticks. I have this in the shade Toffee. The first time I used this, I used a shade that was too light and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I love it. 
But this, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more out of here. This one I do really like and I think blends really, really nicely. Like just blends flawlessly into the skin, which I love and looks super natural. I believe there's three or four shades in this and definitely a nice alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand that everybody loves, but it's obviously a lot more expensive. I think this one is really, really nice and works really nicely as well. Alrighty, we are looking Nice and contoured. For blush, I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I love the luminous ones too, so it was like a toss up in between whether or not I wanted to use the regular e.l.f. Putty or the e.l.f. Luminous. I figured since we had a lot of glow already on our face, I would use one of the OG e.l.f. Putty Blushes, but love the luminous ones too. This one is in the shade Turks and Caicos. It's a really pretty kind of like salmon-y pink shade, and these just blend like no other. They're super natural, but just like morph into the skin. They don't pick up anything that's underneath it, which is what I like because I always layer my cream products. So like we already have a primer, a concealer, a foundation, a cream contour, everything. So it's important that all my cream products, you know, that I'm using blend together rather than kind of pull apart at each other, which can happen sometimes. And these ones just blend beautifully. They have a bunch of different shades. They wear really nicely and are affordable, which I love. So definitely a fave of mine. Alrighty, up next we have setting powders. Now there are certain places that I'll talk about throughout the video where I feel like the drugstore still lags behind high end a little bit. And setting powders is one of those places. I feel like I have dry skin, so I think I might be a little bit more critical of powders just because a lot of them can dry me out. So there's only a few from the drugstore that I personally really like. This one though is a newer one that I have been loving. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. It looks really, really nice. I like to use this to set all over my face. It has like a slight, slight tint to it. So I just use it to set the face, but it doesn't give like a white cast or anything like some translucent powders can do because it does have that slight tint to it. Doesn't make you cakey. It doesn't dry you out. Just kind of sets everything in place and blurs. But aside from that, isn't really gonna change the makeup look at all. I feel like some powders can like change the way your makeup actually looks when applied where this one more just like sets and blurs all right we are nice and blurred i'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit because we're going to jump into the brows i've said this a million and one times covergirl brow stylist definer nothing is as good as this i absolutely love it i have a nice little fresh one here it's such a good drugstore brow pencil the little spoolie on one side and you'll get a nice little precise tip on the other it's so easy to sculpt out the brows with this and it has a little bit of white in it that helps to like hold the brows in place but it doesn't give that weird like waxy crunchy feeling to the brows that makes them look unnatural when they're filled in so i love this one and another drugstore brow product that i really like as well that i wanted to mention is the nyx thick it stick it so this is like a tinted they call it a brow mascara but it basically is like a tinted brow gel but it has little fibers in it so it helps to kind of like fill in your brows if your brows are a little bit more sparse than you would like so i really really like this too and think that it is just as good as any of the high-end tinted brow gels as well okay apologies guys my camera just died but we're back we have a nice fresh charged battery and we can continue on we are about to jump into eyeshadow now this is the one other category where i feel like the drugstore still lags a little bit at least the classic drugstore brands but ColourPop, i feel like is the best affordable eyeshadow palette brand that we have right now and i know some people will say that ColourPop is not drugstore because like traditionally it was not it was really only sold on ColourPop's website but we have it now in store at target you have it at Ulta and price point wise very much the same as drugstore if not even cheaper most of their palettes like this one right here this is the new feeling toasty so I was gonna use this one today um I think this retails for $14 I do have an affiliate code with ColourPop so if you buy them off their website you can use code Kelly which will get you 10% off so you can get it for a little bit less than 14 or like I said it's available to other retailers now and $14 for an eyeshadow palette is very similar price point to what we're seeing in drugstore eyeshadow palettes of similar kind of brands one other exception I will say is Profusion 2 they make big eyeshadow palettes they're I believe they're a little bit more expensive. They're typically around like 20 bucks. You can find them at Walmart. So they are a little bit more expensive, but they do have more shades. I do really like their eyeshadow palettes too, but I just recently used their eyeshadow palette in a previous tutorial. So I can link that down below if you guys want to see a Profusion palette, but we're going to use ColourPop today to do our eye look. I'm going to go in Spiced Rum and kind of blend that into my crease. Then I'm going to go in with Smolder. One thing I do really appreciate about ColourPop, which I feel like I've talked about this before, is that I find their consistencies in their eyeshadow palettes are always very standard. Like they're always consistent. I think that's the better word to use. Um, like the quality is always consistent in them where even with high-end brands I find like I'll try one eyeshadow palette from them and I'll absolutely love it and then they'll come out with another one and I'm like how is this even like from the same brand like quality is completely different it doesn't seem like the same thing whatsoever at all like they don't have that same consistency where like with ColourPop it's 
pretty much all of their palettes are the same. The only thing that changes is the eyeshadow colors, at least in my experience. Like the quality and consistency of them is always the same, which I like. So I can kind of buy based on, okay, I like this color story and not worry like, oh, is this gonna be like a different formula than the last one? Is it gonna work differently? So that's one thing that I've always liked about ColourPop is I find them to be pretty consistent with their quality, which is nice. I'm gonna go in with Firestarter. It's this one right in the center here. Looks pretty. I'm gonna just pack that on the lid with my finger. Love a little bronzy eye look. Then I'm gonna jump in with Baked Goods, which is the lightest shimmer. And I'm gonna bring this in the inner corner to brighten and also right beneath the brow bone. And then I'm gonna jump in with Cinder Up, which is a different little shimmer. And I'm gonna put this right in the center of the lid. Just right in the center as a little glowy moment. Now I'm going in with Cozy Vibes. This is a matte brown. I'm gonna do a little bit of a smoked out liner moment. And I'm gonna pack it beneath the lower lash line as well. Okay, that is it for eyeshadow. For eyeliner, we're also gonna go in with ColourPop. This is their cream gel liner. I think this is like $7. The best. I love this one in the shade Exit. It's white. It's super pigmented and it's gonna last all day in your waterline, which is really, really nice. All right, now we're gonna jump into a mascara. Y'all can probably guess it. Milani Anti-Gravity. I love this mascara. It is so, so good. Honestly, mascara is a category where I feel like the drugstore excels. Like they have some of my all-time favorite drugstores are like pretty much all, <laughs> some of my all-time favorite drugstores. Some of my all-time favorite mascaras are from the drugstore. Like so, so stinking good. This one just gives me lots of length, lots of lift, a little bit of volume, which is exactly what I like and is just always my go-to. So, so good. I'm just gonna layer this on. I normally do about two coats her eye. Alrighty, mascara is all done. Now we only have a couple face products left for a powder, blush, I love the Milani, the baked blushes that are like this. They are so pretty, literally any shade. I have Luminoso here, which is a really pretty kind of like peachy shade. So I thought it went with the putty blush that we used before, but honestly, any of the Milani baked blushes are so, so pretty. They have like a very slight sheen to them, but it's nothing, like it's not even like glitter or anything like that. It's just like a little bit of a glow that they give to the skin, but nothing crazy. Just give you that pretty kind of glowy look. So I love them. Okay, up next we have highlight. And honestly, it kind of makes me sad. Well, powder highlight specifically. I feel like powder highlight has like fallen off a little bit. Like people don't talk about them as much as they used to, but I still love a good highlight. Y'all know me. I love Wet n Wild highlights. They make some of the absolute best of the drugstore. You guys have seen me use them like a million times in different videos. So I definitely highly recommend the Wet n Wild ones. But a new one that I wanted to show you guys that I've been loving is this one from Lottie London. This is the Cinnamon Bun Highlight. You guys can get Lottie London at Walmart. First of all, smells just like cinnamon buns. Like they nailed the scent on this. Like could have been weird, but it smells so good. And it's like this swirled kind of highlight. And if you just put your brush in here, it gives the prettiest glow to the skin. And like when the light hits it, just so pretty. Like it's a little bit more natural. Like it's not like super insane glow, but really, really pretty. And I've been loving it. I would say the Wet n Wild ones are a little bit more like boom, Whoa, highlight like seen from Mars, which I still love too. But if you want something that's still pretty, but a little bit more on the natural side, I would say to check this one out because I think it's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my lips off a little bit. I just had a little lip oil on them before. For lip liner, love these Milani ones. Also really like the NYX retractable lip liners. Those are like my two go-tos from the drugstore. I think they're amazing. And as long as the lip liner is pigmented and lasts, I feel like there's no need really to buy like a high-end one unless it's like super amazing or like a color that you can't find. But this one is in the shade, what is the shade on this? Cafe a lot. I like this one a lot for nude lip colors. They're pigmented and they last well throughout the day. And then for a lipstick, these Milani, these are the color fetish ones, the matte ones specifically. This one is in the shade Pleasure. Honestly, any of them. They're soft matte and they give so much color and pigment to the lips. Somehow still feel really creamy when you apply them on. Like, they don't feel matte at all, but they last really, really well on your lips. I love this formula. I think it's so good. So I always, I have all of them, like literally every color that they make in this formula because they are like my go-to from the drugstore. I think they are fabulous. I love Revlon lippies as well. I think their lipsticks are really, really good, but these Milani ones are like my all-time favorite. They're incredible. 
the formula on them definitely rivals high-end, if not better, honestly, than many high-end lipsticks that I've tried. So really, really love these. And then for lip gloss, I love the Maybelline Lifter glosses. Those have been an OG favorite of mine. I've used them for years. You guys have seen me use them in tons of tutorials. One thing about those is they don't last forever. Um, no lip gloss really does, but I recently started using the ColourPop Luxe glosses, which these are very similar price point, if not the same as Lifter gloss, like price point. You can get them at Target, like I said, or Ulta, or ColourPop's website. This is in the shade Check-In, but they have a million different colors of this. And I find these last a little bit better on me than the Lifter Gloss does. So I've been reaching for these a little bit more. They look very similar on the lips. They give like a juicy kind of glossy glow and feel nourishing on the lips. So I really, really like these. And I find these last a little bit longer on my lips than the Lifter Gloss does, but can't go wrong with either. Both are really, really nice. Obviously lip glosses are kind of always gonna be like that first layer that's gonna come off of your lips as you eat, drink, whatever, go on throughout your day. So can't go wrong with either, but I really like these. All right, you guys, so that is everything. Love how this look ended up turning out obviously because I love all these products so I figured it would turn out nice but hopefully this was helpful to you guys to actually see the products being used rather than me just showing them really quick and hopefully you guys enjoy I will have everything that I use today linked down below in the description box so check that out thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video bye